All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be talking about a pretty cool topic, a pretty cool IRS hack that could potentially put some money in your pocket. Now, if you are not a mark-to-market trader, or if you do not have a net operating loss from a business, then this video is actually not for you. Um, so this is gonna be for anybody who qualifies for trader status and is a mark-to-market trader. So I'm gonna leave a link below where you can learn a little bit more information on what it means to qualify for trader status and also what it is to become a mark-to-market trader. So if you are a mark-to-market trader, keep it locked and I'm gonna be talking about some pretty cool things today. So anytime we can put some more money into our clients' pockets, I always look at that as a win, right? It's a win-win for not only us because we're providing value, but also a win for the client because it actually puts more money in your pocket. And so a lot of times there are things on the surface that you may not know about because the literature is way too complex. So today I'm specifically gonna be talking about some relief for traders who may have had some big losses in 2019 and 2020. Now, I probably should have put this video out a little bit earlier um, because this would have also been applicable to 2018 losses because of the time frame and you know, virtual school, extended tax season, I didn't have time to get around to it. But if you do have losses in 2019 and 2020, this video is for you. So if this is your first time engaging uh, the content that I put out, I wanted to welcome you. My name is Brian Rivera and I hold multiple, multiple hats. I'm the managing partner of Trader Tax CPA and that's where we provide tax compliance and preparation services to active day traders all across the US. I'm also an active day trader myself and so I trade the financial markets uh, when time permits and normally that's, you know, I have a lot more time outside of tax season. I'm also an entrepreneur, I have my hands in a couple businesses, a member of the Army Reserves where I currently serve as a major and most notably, I'm a virtual school teacher. So now I get to teach my young two boys um, throughout the day while this whole pandemic thing figures itself out. So I'm about to give you guys some good news and some bad news. I always like the bad news first, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you raw. Trading is freaking hard. Like trading is probably one of the hardest things you can do. But if you master it, you learn a skill set where you can produce income for the rest of your life well into your retirement years. Now, the reason why I say trading is hard is because you are going up against yourself, you're going up against institutions, hedge funds, some of the smartest minds uh, that Wall Street has to offer, and you're going against algorithms, right? And so you have a lot of things that are uh, stacked against you. And because of that, a lot of newer traders or even experienced traders from time to time experience losses. And some of these losses um, can be detrimental to the future of that career. So, you know, trading is definitely something that it's hard, right? So now on to the good news. So if you are a trader that experienced a uh, mark to market loss in tax year 2019 or 2020, there is some relief for you. Now, if you paid any type of income tax in the last five years, whether that was through W2, whether that was through trading or that was through a business, there could potentially be some relief for you in the form of a refund check. So this specific provision is under the CARES Act, so it's pretty pretty new, uh, came out around April timeframe. So, uh, but if you're existing tax professional, CPA, whoever you work with doesn't know about this, then it might be time to get a new CPA or make sure that the guy you're working with understands and knows specifically about uh, this provision. So our CPA firm, we're in the business of maximizing our client's tax position. So even in years where you could potentially have taken a pretty massive loss, um, we are always looking for ways to see if we can help our client. So most recently we had a client uh, within the last 90 days get a pretty significant refund from the IRS from filing a form 1045. All right, so the way that you generate a net operating loss is basically your expenses are greater than your revenue. So in this case, if you have a mark to market loss that exceeds all of your, all you have no, no income, right? So you are in the red. The other way you could generate this is if your expenses from business exceed your revenue and there's no other income present on your return to soak up that loss, then you would then generate what's called a net operating loss. So this past tax year, um, this past tax season, 2019, I had a client actually based here in beautiful Florida. He generated a net operating loss of $170,000 from day trading. So because he didn't have any other income, you know, he generated what's called an NOL. So before this CARES Act, 
basically the Tax Cut and Jobs Act suspended the NOL carryback. So if you had a loss, you could carry it forward indefinitely and soak it up against future income. Well, because of the CARES Act, you can now carry that back five years to experience a refund or get immediate relief. So good news about this client is he actually had a high paying six figure job the last, or he had five years ago and four years ago where he was paying a significant bill uh, in the form of taxes. So he's paying income tax through his wages uh, every single year. So he did have some income that we could offset this loss against. All right, so once we filed this paperwork, his refund was actually $55,000. And that was because of the, he got some relief from the taxes that he paid in prior years. Well, the good thing about this additional income he has now, he's actually reinvested it back into his trading business. And now he can continue executing his trading business and for the foreseeable future. So this is a very, very fast way to get some income and some relief for some of the tax losses that you could have experienced uh, from day trading. So the thing that's really, really interesting about this NOL carry back is that it's actually pretty fast. So the entire process is 90 days. So if you went the other route and you filed an amended tax return at a minimum, this is going to take at least six months. So specific to the CARES Act, NOL carry back, the IRS has resources dedicated just to this very topic, because really what the goal is, is they are trying to get a quick turnaround and they're trying to get money back into taxpayers pockets. And so you can take that refund and reinvest it into other things like a business, real estate, your trading business, whatever you want, but it's designed for quick and fast relief. All right. So bottom line up front, the way that you can use this NOL is you have to have generated an NOL in tax year 2019 or tax year 2020. It's yet to be seen whether or not they extend this provision past basically 2021 and forward. I have no clue, but as of right now, you need to have an NOL in one of those two years. So I know taxes is not everyone's cup of tea and it can be pretty complex. So as always, I always recommend reaching out to an expert so you can focus on working with your existing tax advisor, your CPA. If they don't know, find somebody who knows about this, or you can get on my calendar um, where I do consultations and I'll leave a link below to where you can actually book that. As always, I wanted to thank you for your undivided attention. I know taxes is not the best thing in the world, but if we can put money back in your pocket, it will become your best friend. Um, so as always, if you like the content, that we are putting out for entrepreneurs in the trading community, go ahead and give this a like and a subscribe, and we will continue putting out content. Have a good rest of your day.